Hey everyone, before I started diving deep into tech and AI, I was actually a commercial producer. There are so many monotonous tasks that I had to do or the production manager had to do and sometimes it just got so frustrating. You knew you had to do it and it was part of the job, but there had to be an easier way. Well, I finally found that way. And making production schedules isn't just for commercial producers, and I'm not even one either anymore. But I can help all of you that make schedules that you have to give to clients, and you need timelines, calendars, production schedules, and you need to get them to a client, and you're gonna have to make changes, you're gonna have to make adjustments, and it could just get you to the starting line so much quicker, and then make those changes so much easier. But I should warn you, if you don't want an easier way to do your job, you should stop right now. If not, keep watching. And by the end of this, you are going to have a much quicker way to making schedules and calendars. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben Silverman, and I come from the traditional film and television world. But for the past year, I have been heads down learning artificial intelligence and all the tools that are coming out allowing creators to gain superpowers. I started a company called Seated with the goal to make AI more accessible for creatives and creators. These videos are really for everyone, but especially beginners who don't know where to start and want a place where they feel like it is okay to learn at their own pace and not feel too overwhelmed. Now, the tool that I'm going to talk about today is Notion. I can go into a much, much bigger video about the entirety of Notion because this tool is unbelievable in so many ways, but I'm gonna keep this video really focused on scheduling. And if you wanna see another video that is a lot more in depth about Notion, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. It will help out the channel so much. So I have an entire system in my Notion set up for how I run my entire business and even my life. But this part only involves you opening up a new page. Now Notion is filled to the brim with AI features and that is what I am going to use. Everything in Notion is also built off of databases and giving you the opportunity to view all of your databases in many different ways. The main goal is to build one with everything you need in it and ask Notion AI to create that database for you. Make the rows and the columns. This is the monotonous part. Since every schedule has different dates, you'll have to put those dates in. And once you have that entered, we'll be able to visualize it and turn change the schedule and make it easier than it ever took me five years ago. Okay, so first off, I wanna show you what we're gonna create. So this is my setup and I have already created a template for it. So I have a production, uh, production scheduling template and this is exactly what we're gonna make. Once I open it up, it automatically gives me this. And it has this, every every aspect, I'm sure you have, have schedules or specific things and tasks that you have to create. You can make templates for that. And in turn, you'll have all of these already ready to go, all the dates. This is for email. Uh, you'll have a calendar built. And we also built a timeline depending on what you are actually working in, you might or might not use all of these. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna just show you how to do it. I am going to come back out to my projects and I am gonna create a new template because I wanna make sure that I could use it over and over again. I'm gonna say uh, production schedule for uh, my YouTube channel. And it's already got all of my properties. Uh, you can put other properties in again. I'm not gonna make this too focused on that. But uh, I've already created a prompt that I wanna use. And I'm just gonna enter it right here. But if, if you see this line right here, it says press space for AI and forward slash for commands. So uh, I'm gonna press space. And right here, I am going to tell it to create a database with a table view and make the following columns. In the header, columns in the header. Event date, event date, email address, and notes. After you have created those columns, make the following events in the event column. 
Uh, storyboard design, client feedback revisions, client feedback asset building, client feedback revisions, animation. So you can, you get the idea. You can obviously put whatever it is you want, but this just shows you what's about to happen. I'm gonna hit enter and bam, it literally creates the entire database for me. Now what's so cool about this is I'm gonna hit done. Now I'm gonna just need to create, turn this into a database just because of the way it works. I turn into database, there you have it. And now I have event, date, email address, notes, all of the above right there. Uh, I have all of these pieces that I need. Um, I'm gonna just call this uh, production schedule. Uh, title, which is going to be a text column. Date, I'm just gonna click on this and I'm going to edit property. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I've got, right here it says the type. I'm just gonna make that into a date, perfect. I'm going to, uh, there we go. And then email address, I'm gonna want that to be uh, an email address. So you could just come in here, go right back into type and scroll down. Now you have the email address property. Perfect, there you have it. Now here is notes, that's gonna be a text column. I'm gonna add one more here and I'm gonna call it multi-select because that's gonna give me colors that I can color coat later. Perfect. And so now I have everything that I need here. Uh, I probably am just going to come in here and tighten this up a little bit. I'm going to make this date. The great thing is, is I'm never gonna have to do this again. I'm only gonna have to ever do it once. Email address of client notes and color code perfect so now once you have all of this this is the exciting part so i don't uh, actually need this column anymore so i'm gonna come in here i'm gonna delete it excellent so now the cool thing is is i'm gonna take this table i am going to make a calendar view uh, that was i'm gonna make a calendar view i am not gonna want to show the database title and I like how it is. I could change it from month to week to whatever I want, but that's uh, how I'm gonna leave it right now. And then I'm gonna take the same database and I'm gonna turn it into a timeline. Because some people in production like viewing timelines and I know in tech and, and software, they like, they like doing their, uh, their sprints as timelines as well. So I'm gonna take away the, the database tile there also. So now this is still my template. And now I have a table, a calendar, and a timeline. Uh, the cool thing about this is, is once I wanna create this, it's just gonna create the whole thing for me. And it's gonna be perfect. And I could just start from, from there. So now storyboard design, let's say that we're gonna start today. I'm going to add an end date to it. You'll see why. That ends on the 30th. Great. Then um, uh, for client feedback, they're going to start on the 31st. They get two days. Uh, so I'm going to start the 31st right there. I'm going to add an end date and they get two days. And then I'm going to do revisions will be on the 3rd through the 6th. Uh, I think you get the picture. So now you see that I have dates right there. This is going to be Bob at bob.com. Great, that's the email address. Um, he wants the boards to be vibrant, it's dynamic. Great, and then here is the cool part because now I'm just gonna color this storyboard and you're gonna see why. I'm gonna color client feedback and revisions. We're gonna do client feedback. Get rid of that. And then I'm gonna do right here, revisions. Wonderful. Now, the cool part here is, is now I can come over to the calendar and you'll see what happened. Now I have storyboard design, client feedback and revisions. Now if I come to the timeline, you have the same thing. And the cool thing about this part here is, is you can change it around and organize it. Look, if I wanted to add to the first, right? Now I'm gonna come back to the table and it's gonna say to January 1st. And that's the coolest part. Now I'm gonna take that back, 
And then once you have the full entire schedule, you'll be able to just say, oh, the client can't get to this until the next day. So you just change the date and then it changes the calendar. You can print them a new calendar. You can attach it as an addendum to a contract. It's super, super simple. Now, the cool part about this as well is, is if you come over to here, now you'll see <clears throat> the color coding is not there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to properties. It says zero shown and I am going up to color code and I'm gonna make that visible. So now if you come back to the properties right here, I'm gonna get out of here. Now you see it has all of my color codes on there. Incredible. So if you see this, and then if you wanna go back and get rid of that, what you could do is you could just get rid of this entire column and then just make everything a color code with what you wanna do or even hide this, and then it'll just show the color code. And then that's that, that's all you have to do. And now you have an easy way of making schedules, making timelines and doing all of that. So now if you really wanna just make a production schedule and you have a job, it's like, okay, cool, well, I have a job. Now, once you have that template, it's so easy to replicate. I just come right to my page. Right now, this is my project page. But if you come right up here, you go to the drop down and you say production schedule for my YouTube channel. This is the one we just created. Bam. Now you can just start with your schedule. Now all you have to do is fill in the dates, fill in the email addresses, and then you already have your calendar view. You already have your timeline view. You have everything. It's unbelievable. If you're interested in getting the template, subscribe to the channel and then comment below and I will get this template to you. It is really useful. If you wanna make it too, just make it. It's amazing. Help out the channel. Looking forward to seeing you next time.